As seniors across the state walk across the stage and graduate from high school, what it took to get them to this point will not be the same for seniors in the near future. We want to make sure when kids leave our K-12 system, they are better prepared than they have been. Governor Kevin Stitt signed House Bill 3278. It is the first time in years major changes to graduation requirements have been changed and they go into effect next fall. The state is making fine arts and foreign language instruction like Spanish and French class an elective and in its place, a new additional state mandated math class will be required for graduation instead. They're not honed in on being forced to take a course. They get to actually choose what's relevant to them. House Education Chairwoman Rhonda Baker says the change is the result of two years of work between educators and workforce groups across the state. It hopes to prepare students who don't want to go to college, but instead learn a trade or go to career tech to to be more prepared for life. Instead of foreign language and fine arts classes, time can now be spent on things like engineering, computers, robotics, and other career-focused electives. Even if you're going to go the work route, these uh, employers are needing students that are much more uh, understanding of math than anything. Opponents of the changes say pre-K through 12 education is more about educating the whole person on a variety of subjects than it is about workforce development. Music, arts are going to be electives only, that world languages are going to be electives only. We sliver off a little bit more of the commonality of common education. Those who voted against the changes say they believe there are some small districts that could completely do away with foreign language and fine arts to save money, and entire generations could soon lose out with it not being required. They also fear a student will select one path and then could change their mind last minute and will have to make up for lost time somehow very close to graduation. If we do this focused attempt, then we pin kids into a path that they may find is not the true path for them. The big key here to keep in mind is that every district is going to roll this out differently. Some will carry this out quickly. Some will do it over the next couple of years. Others may dive right in. When you get your student out of school for the summertime, you have to continue to check your mailbox and your emails. Some districts will be asking parents about preferred courses that will have more weight to your child's future than ever before. So keep in mind, they'll mainly focus on eighth graders, some freshmen and sophomores, but when it comes to juniors and next year seniors, everybody for the most part is locked in there. Covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. And here are some more details. Governor Stitt also signed a bill into law last week that starting in the 25-26 school year, high school students will be required to take one semester of financial literacy as a requirement for graduation. That course will address everything from opening a checking account, how a mortgage works, and the importance of retirement savings.